to a more secluded location. Then why did he take on Drea? Leverage? For what? She's playing everything. To get used to the feeling, obviously. I mean, he had plenty of chances to kill her. I don't know. Likely, uh, we'll Question. Poor guy, man. I feel for you. such a terrible job at trying, dude. What an awful actor. Did you already watch the one with the crazy mother? Yes. Yes, I saw that one. That one pissed me off. I had lost my shit. About that. Can't even cry on the command. Yeah. Wow, bad acting. She loves she loves the job and she loves what she's doing. He goes from stating that he accidentally ran the victim over to now intentionally picking her up. He claims to have thought she was a prostitute, tried to solicit her for sex, and then panicked once she refused and affirmed that she was in fact a student. He said that he initially tried to make sure that she wouldn't oh. call the police that were letting her go, and that he then started screaming once he wouldn't let her out of the car, at which point he panicked and thought he had no other choice than to kill her. He goes on to state that he first got into the back and choked her unconscious. He then took her to a secluded parking lot and then bludgeoned her to death. Yeah, Casey Anthony. There was no mention of sexual assault. The fact that he thought she was a sexual is highly implausible, 
as prostitution in the area was unheard of. Whereas drunken students walking home was above all my homies and they would often get a ride from public safety officers. The suspect would have known that a young woman staggering home is most likely a drunk student as opposed to a prostitute. Wait, I, I want to I see what happens for the end. suspect about his semen being on the Oh, okay. Wait. 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 Although the detective's approach is somewhat miscalculated, this is a highly revealing moment, as wow. there is no denial whatsoever from the suspect about his semen being on the That's the truth. The investigation. Yeah, because yeah, God's gonna forgive him. Don't worry, guys. It's fine because as long as he prays to God and he forgives him, he's good. You know. Peter's get no further admission to this one. On. This enabled the suspect to eventually take a plea deal in order to avoid the death penalty in 2017. They needed a confession of either rape or attempted rape to remove any sort of leverage from his defense. His sentencing hearing commenced on January 22nd, 2018. This morning, 32-year-old Edwin Lara pleaded guilty to aggravated murder and the death of 23-year-old Jimmy Sawyer. The plea deal means he will avoid a possible death sentence. Thank you so much. I am bored for the resub. Dude, death to all of them. Come on. Amy Frazier is live in Bend, where she's been at that hearing. Amy? Well, Kaylee Sawyer's family and friends have packed a courtroom here today as they face her killer. There's been both dude, tears. Dude, that's what, dude, he should. He calls to set up a time for her to come in and make the change to her license. But after she sent that email, the local DMV immediately emailed Karen back, and they told her that they could not help her with this request until she resolved an issue. Now, they didn't specify what this issue was. However, they very cryptically said it had something to do with the state of Oklahoma. And then at the bottom of the email, there was a phone number they told her she needed to call in order to resolve this issue. And so Karen's thinking, okay, that's pretty weird, but I did use a live in Oklahoma, so that probably has something to do with it. Oh, so baby! Punch this number the DMV had given her into her phone. Let's turn it on, boys. Oh my god!